Hey YouTube friends, Survival Craft here. The flower that you see in front of you is a false dandelion. Now these are going to appear right at the end of spring, generally halfway through April and into May. And they're going to appear right about the time dandelions disappear. So what's nice is you can have dandelions from pretty much the end of winter all throughout the spring and then you can immediately pick up with false dandelions when those go away. And these are a great source of foraging for edibles. They do have some medicinal properties but I'm not going to go into those right now because really it's they're, they're few. Let's first talk about the dandelion. Now the dandelion gets its name from the French dendelion, which means the lion's tooth, because the, the leaves are very toothed. They look like a, a row of lion's teeth. The leaves are really good in a salad, and you can take the, the older leaves that are a bit bitter, and you can blanch them like you would spinach. Just uh, one note though, you're taking a lot of the vitamins away from them by doing that. So it's, it's better to eat them as close to raw as possible. Now the flowering heads can also be eaten. You can just pluck those and eat those. I do suggest though to take the green part off the bottom because that can be a, a little bitter. Whereas the yellow part's really sweet. And you can eat those directly or you can take them, put them in an infuser and you can um, make a tea out of them. And the tea is actually quite delightful if you're into tea. Sometimes I'll do that and I'll mix it with a little bit of pine needle and it kind of freshens it up a bit. Quick warning, if you're allergic to latex, stay away from the dandelion because in the leaves and in the stem there's latex and that latex can actually be taken out and used as a very lightweight glue. Um, but if you're allergic to latex, it can cause contact dermatitis. Now, as I said before, this in front of you is false dandelion, and it's often called cat's ear. And the reason is, is because its leaves, they look a lot like the uh, dandelion leaves uh, in that they're toothed, but they're covered in lots of long hairs, almost like a cat's ear. And these are edible too. Uh, the hairs can be uh, a, a bit difficult to get around in that they you may not like them. So that's where it might be better to blanch them to get rid of that hairiness. Otherwise, if you, if you get used to it, they're not that bad, but still. Now, the heads can be eaten off of these and the roots can be eaten. So just like, just like the dandelion, you can eat any part of this. My favorite part's the head. I find the head, the flower part, to be sweeter than those of dandelions. Now, aside from the re really hairy leaves, the way you can identify a false dandelion is by looking at the stem. Let's see, you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, pluck this one. You see how that stem forks there? It's really long and it forks. Well, dandelions don't do that. It's one flower per stem. Whereas on false dandelions, you can have multiple flowers per stem. And so they fork uh, sometimes even multiple times. And these are a found often on roadsides. In fact, that's where I'm filming this right now is along the roadside. And when you find them there, it's usually best not to eat them because you don't know what's coming off the road, any type of chemicals. And you've also got uh, carbon monoxide from cars, things like that. It's best to stay away from them. But if you find them in open fields or anything like that, you know, go ahead and eat away. They're really tasty and they're a great foraging item. So, if you have any questions or suggestions, please place them in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.